In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome bass shake effect that you will see in loads of popular music videos. So we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and we've got a brand new sequence created. And in order to start, we just need to get some footage onto the timeline. So I'm just gonna drag this over here. And as you can see, I've got this shot of the London Eye. It's just a static shot. Nothing is really happening here. So we need to add this effect to really bring this to life. Of course, though, we do need to import some music as well so that this bass shake effect actually has some music to interact with. So I'm just gonna drag some music onto audio track one. There we go. As you can see, this is where I want to put the first effect right there on the drop. So in order to do this effect, we first just want to make a duplicate copy of this footage. So if you're on Mac, you can hold option and drag that up onto video layer two. Or alternatively, you can just copy and paste that. So you go command C, move over, command V. Or if you're on Windows, that's control C, control V. Then we just drag this back on top onto video layer two. And now you can see we've got two layers. So on this top layer, we need to go ahead and apply a round of directional blur. So we'll go into the effects window, search for directional blur and we just drag that on top of the video on video layer two. Now we want to increase the blur length up. So let's go to somewhere around 20. And then you want to make sure that the blur length is going up. So by default, it should be going up at zero. If it's to the side though, then just go ahead and change that to facing upwards. Then from there, we can just listen through to the track and figure out where we want these bass shake effects to take place. So let's just listen through to this now. Cool, so there's four points I'm seeing in this small area here. So let's just go to this first one. So in order to see this effect, we want to just make a cut. So press C on the keyboard. We'll make a cut there at that hit. As you can see at the moment, it's just going from nothing into full directional blur, which looks a little bit intense. So let's make a flicker effect on this instead. So we'll press C on the keyboard again, and we'll just zoom in, and then we'll go one frame across make a cut, one frame across and make a cut, one frame across, make a cut and again. And then we'll just delete these videos in between. So delete that second one, delete that fourth one, and then we'll just have three here. So let's see how this looks. So as you can see at the moment, that is how this is looking. It does work, but we can actually go ahead and take this one step further. So we can actually change the direction amount on the first, second, and third one. So the first one will go for a smaller one. Let's go for nine. The second one will go for a larger one. So we'll go for around 40. And then the last one will keep where it is. So we've got a smaller one, a larger one, and then somewhere in between. Let's see how that looks. So from here, all you would need to do is just keep working through your track and then just making those cuts to just animate this to the music. And that is how you create this really awesome and really simple bass shake effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.